Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, I'm gonna hope that the video now is recording the right way. <laughs> it was really annoying to have that happen last night that it was in portrait mode when I did a reading. Right. Uh, but anyhow, no moaning, no whinging, fresh new day, Friday, almost weekend. Uh, I keep thinking it's Saturday already. Yesterday I thought it was Friday, I'm confused. <laughs> But today, ta-da, I got my new or, uh, Angels and Ancestors uh, Oracle cards in. And um, <clears throat> that was really fast. The universe must have known that I did not really have the patience to wait eight days. Because from Book Depository, it can take uh, eight days to get here from the UK. And I'm not in the UK, I'm in mainland Europe. So... Uh, I was barely awake, actually, and then the, the doorbell uh, uh, rang, and there they were. Uh, well, okay, let's start a review. I love the cards. I'd already seen the cards on Kyle Grace's Facebook page uh, when they were officially uh, pre-orderable on September 3rd. And I went through each all uh, and, and each and every one of them, and I just loved them. And I actually had tears rolling down my cheeks. <laughs> Some of these cards moved me so deeply. And then I pre-ordered right away. And uh, actually, they were only uh, they were going to be published on September 18th, but they were released uh, on the 10th or something or the 9th. And so I already got them. And I thought, well, let's do this review. I want to do a reading with them as well later on. And um, that's why I want to get the review out of the way. Then I can shuffle them and do that. But they are really pretty. There's one thing. Uh, I'm going to show you that as well. The box. I like that. Now, of course, this is the box. It's just a hard box. Uh, hey, there's a nice dent in there. That's probably from me. That's the one thing that... Um, I couldn't get the box to open. I couldn't. It just didn't work. It was as, as if this one side was stuck, and this the, the the bottom part came out, but the other part didn't. So in the end, I actually had to use a knife, slip that in between, to then just basically push it out. And uh, I really seriously hurt my fingers when I was trying to grab hold of that box here, you know, and try to pull it out and I seriously hurt my finger <laughs> so I'm, I was not too chuffed about that but this I seriously really like on the inside of the uh, of the cover guardians of the four corners mother of the earth father in the sky angels and ancestors sacred ones I call on you and welcome you here now I love that I seriously love that. I got goose bumps all over me now. <laughs> and in the bottom, the, the part that holds the cards, I set the intention that whatever is gained from the lessons learned from this tool will be uh, dedicated to the growth of all beings in all places. Now, this I love. Plus, it's unusual. I don't think I've ever seen that before, that there is an, uh, an incantation um uh, like this in inside the box. I totally love that. Um, as for the cards, well, the back side, I love that too. The, the beautiful, the colors is, be is beautiful. That blue, greenish, I kind of, yeah, I do like that. Um, the one thing, I'm not certain how that's going to pan out. I'm, I'm going to turn it over this. You know, they're inside the box like this. This is the first one alphabetically. They stick together like in clumps. And that is going to be seriously annoying if you want to shuffle and do a reading. So I'm not certain how it's going to pan out. I'm, I've gone through all of them once. So they're not so, well, they are. They still are, right? You can yeah, look at that. You can see it. There's clumps, and here too, you can barely get them to really, you know, separate. It's that, that I hate. I seriously do. I've had that before with the deck, and I needed to use fan powder three times, I think, before it actually got going, the deck, the cards. And, um... <clears throat> I don't know, if a, if a deck is so difficult to shuffle and work with, then I find that, I find that it damages easier as well. 
uh, the edges and I don't like that either. I'm real fussy when it comes to my cards, you know. I don't want them damaged. <laughs> Uh, but anyhow, I will sort that out. The cards, I'm, I'm not going to say don't buy them, but, you know, just bear that in mind. The coating in in itself, if you want to look at the cards and the artwork, I like the coating because it's matte. I don't like that glossy, shiny stuff. It depends what deck it is, but for this, I wouldn't have appreciated that. But it's also, they just don't really shuffle well. I doubt this going to work out all that well. And that's going to aggravate me because, of course, I buy this to do readings with it. And it's un a bit weird because his other deck, the um, the Keepers of the Light, did have a coating. Now, that coating was not the best quality, but at least it's, it, it was smooth and it moved when you want to shuffle and use the deck, right? So that's one thing that I'm just telling you that I noticed right away when I uh, got the cards out. Uh, so I will. I think I will use the fan powder on it later on when I'm done with this. So this is the first card. I'll quickly show you all the cards. Uh, oh, how the deck is set up. Uh, you can also see that on his own, own website from Kyle Gray. Um, basically, it's uh, sacred ones. Uh, 30 cards, I believe. Sacred ones. Um... Let's see how the deck is set up. This is also a sacred one. Uh, and that's basically just people from all cor corners of the earth. Um, yeah, 30 wise ones of times gone past. This is a gathering of incredible souls who are dedicated to passing on ancient wisdom from beyond. They are shamans, medicine people, lay people, warriors and merchants from the four corners of the earth. They know what it's like to walk this planet and live off the land. And so from a spiritual perspective, they are able to offer guidance and insight that will support your path in life. Then there are uh, 12 guardians and messengers. Um, who will bring uh, messages of guidance and healing. And there are uh, warrior symbols and four cards for the seasons. There are uh, nine warrior symbols. And that is uh, symbols that um, can reveal important information that will help you to understand what you need to do next. So there's nine of those. In, uh, the, the complete deck is 55 cards. Right, so that, that what I just told you is also explained in the book, of course. And then there is how to create a bond with the oracle cards. And I believe there is some uh, using your oracle cards, uh, storing the usual blah, blah, cleansing ceremony, shuffling, reading for yourself, for another. Then there are suggested spreads. I'll just quickly show you. Two card spread, two card cross. Uh, Celtic uh, compass spread that looks interesting and uh, north is what is grounding you center spirit you and your energy energy east your current thoughts and perceptions right this is interesting I like that I really like that what you need to let go of and let flow where to direct your energy yes I like that uh, past life lessons spread I like that too. Past life stuff I always find very interesting. <laughs> uh, a three card questions, one card question. and So there's quite a lot on readings and quite some interesting readings as well. I believe he was going to do uh, online a, a webinar thingy on the Celtic cross, on that Celtic cross. No, sorry. Celtic compass spread. I have to keep an eye on that. But that was after the 18th, after the official uh, publishing date. Then for the cards, you get a black and white picture. And the caption that's on the card as well. The message and then more insight, uh, more, well, just more information on, in this case, Druids. And then the extended me message. So this is usually just the uh, background, a bit of background information. And then this is the actual message that you can get info from for the reading. And that as well. There's a similar, same setup uh, that he used for the Keepers of the Light Oracle cards. So it, yeah, that's basically the booklet. And um, 
yeah, it, that is enough information, I find. Because uh, I've worked with the other deck as well, right? The uh, Keepers of the Light, I've got that too. And it is truly more than enough to get a lot of information out of that. So that is uh, the booklet. I like that. Now let's go through the cards. I'll just show them to you, all of them. Druid, then the Aboriginal, the Elder. We have Father Sky, Trust in the Unknown. The Great Teacher. I like that. And I don't believe... Uh, this is, uh, it reminds me of Jesus, right? I suppose more people have that. Uh, let's see. Uh, but I believe it's uh, a Celtic uh, healer. Dwan Kecht or something. I can't remember now. Um, great teacher. Oh, no, it's not. It was inspired by Jesus. Right. Huh. Okay, interesting. Uh, so this was inspired by Jesus. The Hermit, Retreat and Recharge. Then there is the uh, Egyptian High Priest, High Priestess. There's an awful lot of symbols on these cards as well, both uh, on the bodies of these people, but also in the background and on other things, the things they hold. Uh, I like this one in particular, the High Priestess with a cat. I love that cat because it reminds me of my own cat. <laughs> yeah, and this, oh my God, yes. Yeah, the Celtic stuff, that, that, yeah, that just really appeals to me. Track down your fears and desires. I love that. And there's so much detail. Uh, as I was uh, going through the deck just now, it... Um, it's almost as if these people are really looking at you, as if they're real people. It's quite, uh, it's quite stunning. The artist, Lily Moses, she is really good. She's really, really good. This is a completely different style uh, of artwork from the Keepers of the uh, Light Oracle deck and the other deck he did on the Angels. And it's, it's seriously as if they're real people. It's it's really amazing, and that's usually that's a lot to do with the eyes. How you can uh, paint or draw eyes. It's it, it's seriously amazing. Look, I mean, look at this man. It could have been a photograph of a man. The beard and everything. It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I like these. Um, I'm not certain how they are called again. Rosettas, I'm going to call it Rosetta. And the fact that there are roses in the background, I love that color. The magenta. This is beautiful. Really beautiful. The apple with the um, uh, pentagram on the inside. The seeds form that pentagram, right? If you chop an apple in half. And um, then there's the Lord. So we have the lady and the Lord. And what's funny, if um, yeah, you should be able to see that uh, in the background here on the wall, so to speak, you see that flower pattern. And I think there's actually a vague uh, flower of life in the background that fades out. And here in the background, you can't really see it. Here you can. There is Celtic knotwork trying to turn the card, unfortunately. I think if I switch on the light, it's going to be too much. <laughs> then we might get glare. This, so, yeah, it's it's just beautiful. Honor your inner knowing. This I, I like as well. I noticed this uh, thingy around her neck uh, body with the shells. There's shells on them. I cannot remember the name of these shells, but I actually got a thing like that. It's um, braided... Uh, yeah, cord or something like rope, ropey, but it's flat. And on top of that, they sew these shells. And I bought that, <clears throat> I believe, in Irian Jaya, which is the uh, Indonesian half of Papua New Guinea. There's, there's this one island, the eastern half is Papua New Guinea, and the uh, western half belongs to Indonesia is Irian Jaya and you got Papua's living there as well right I think I bought it there at the time when I was there I'm not certain and um, the guy who sold it to us actually said that it was a um, a dowry 
dowry because these shells are like money to these people. But I'm not, yeah. So I was quite, yeah, surprised to see that this woman has got that on her as well because I do believe this is African, I suppose. I'm not certain. I haven't gone through all that stuff yet. Mother Earth, Earth I like that. Absolutely lovely. Look at her facial expression. I love it. This one, yeah, this is a favorite of mine, I think. I love that. The, the, the color, it's the color, that rich red color. It's not bright red. Red. Then I wouldn't have liked it so much, but it's it's just gorgeous. Uh, peacekeeper. And and I also, in a way, appreciate that he um, went for people from all tribes and people around, yeah, you know, from the world. So that everyone, no matter where you're from, can <clears throat> basically um, um, resonate with it. Uh, had it been just Indian or just Celtic, then a lot of people probably wouldn't have felt drawn to it so much. Look at this man. I mean, doesn't that look like a picture? It's just, look at his eyes. The expression on his face, the friendliness, the the wisdom. This, I don't know, it's as if it's a photograph. It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. A seer, see beyond the current situation. I like the hands as well, the way she's done the hands. Hands are quite difficult, you know. I'm a painter as well myself. <laughs> I try to always avoid painting hands. I can do it, I actually can. I have done a very good job on that as well, but it's not the easiest thing to do. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, then we have Shaman. I need a sip of coffee. So more Indian. And again, look at his face. It's like... A real man. Um, um, yeah, I'm almost kind of wondering, you know, did she use photographs to... <laughs> uh, I haven't a clue. I didn't look it up how she did it, but... Yeah, then the Shaolin Master. It's also quite nice. There's this golden ball, but it has a yin-yang symbol in it. <clears throat> Shapeshifter. I had to get used to this... Uh, there's another card like this in it, uh, that the one that's also on the cover, the woman. I'm, I have to get used to that. I'm not so keen normally on like this bird coming out of his head, and you know, it's, it's. But it does have its charm for sure. Shapeshifter, uh, she wolf, unleash the wild within, and then that beautiful moon behind it. Yeah, love that. And this, oh, yeah, I just, me, I just resonate more with the uh, European pagan stuff, like the Celtic stuff, also a bit the Norse, that, that just really appeals to me. I believe we are now moving into the, uh, I suppose they're sources, no, they're not. I, I believe this one was a guardian, the fox. So they just sorted alphabetically. They didn't stick to the uh, the uh, sacred ones and the guide, the, the guardians and angels and the uh, warrior symbols, etc. I don't think. Anyhow, star ancestor. I like that the pyramids there, and it's almost as if these colors in his eyes are different. It's as that's blue and that's slightly pink and uh, um, purple, lilac. I'm not certain if it was meant to be that way, but it looks that way. I like that. It's intriguing. Again, this, this, look at his face. It's like a photograph. Unreal. And again, there's all these symbols on all these items as well. And these here, it's got the um, um, constellations. I'm not all that familiar with them, so I don't know which ones they are. And this one, I mean... This is a photograph almost, isn't it? Like going to Turkey or Morocco and you see that man standing there, the trader, and you take a photograph of that. And I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's because the hand, you can tell that the hand, it's, it's right? It's well done. 
but the face look at the face and the eyes it's just um it's just amazing traveler moving to a new direction warrior be fearless and stand strong white witch i love that too absolutely do butterfly there in the hair pentacle the owl oh it's got these it's almost like antlers the owl that's peculiar the wise one raven owl the moon air guardian then this that, that's another one like that this is the card i like the least i think this was published quite early on when you could barely find anything about this deck online other than you could pre-order it um <clears throat> what i don't like about this her body is really narrow slender and it's out of proportion with the hands and her face it just does not match it just does not match had the hands the, the, the head is the face is just too large for this size body it should have been much smaller <clears throat> and the hands as well and they're also too high up it's just weird it's as if it's almost like a um, uh, a miniature body while the arms are normal length and size and so is the head it's it's odd seriously odd and i don't like that that's because i am a painter myself so i pay attention to uh proportions and things you know and that's when i saw that i it's like i'm not certain if i actually want this deck for me these things can be reasons to not buy a deck and i would thank goodness i believe it's only this card but i don't like that uh direction guardian love it love it love it love it and this one too it's it's I suppose it's meant to be kind of like a fairy because it's all this a bit slanted you know it's almost like uh, the Lord of the Rings I can't remember his name anymore now <laughs> and the feathers and there's this pattern in here as well in that circle from his staff <clears throat> cobweb pattern fire garden guardian also like that very warm colors guardian angel you're not alone heart guardian love and let yourself be loved now i would have loved this card but it's just that clearly it's supposed to be a woman i mean look at the hands they're not man's hands right they're a woman's hands but her face is so masculine and had they done so, the, the eyebrows different n not so far towards the bridge of the nose it's yeah the, but that is a personal pet peeve so to speak you know in itself it, it is a beautiful car but uh, that i find um yeah i don't know it's a shame but yeah you can always nag about anything about <laughs> when it comes to cards certain things are just very personal right uh magic guardian unlock the magic within i like that and see she's holding stuff there she's holding something in her hand and that bowl with its things and again there is this flower of life in the back so there's an awful lot of symbolism to this deck again here the flower of life medicine guardian love that caduceus be open to healing and this 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 I, this is really great stunning mirror guardian take time to reflect so she's holding the mirror but there is not the reflection of her in that mirror it's like the universe it's i love that it's i can't wait to do readings with this really protection guardian drop your shields this oh my god yeah water guardian I, I i have this thing with with water and um so this one yeah that really speaks to me and again look at the face i mean it could be a real woman you know again so now we are getting to the warrior uh, symbols we have the arrow we have the broken arrow embrace the energy of peace then we have the drum dream and journey uh eagle see from a higher perspective 
uh, moon, take note of intuitive messages. And then the phases of the moon underneath that. Mountains. The snake shed old skin. Stag. Trust and thrive. Then we get to the seasons, I think. No, 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 not yet. No, this is still part of the warrior symbols, the sun. Enjoy success and happiness. Then we have autumn. Now we move to the seasons. Autumn, the raven, the spring. See your seeds grow. Summer, the bee. Bask in joy and light. And winter, take care of your needs. Now this is a bit funny because I remember that this card, the um, wolf, was posted... Um, on here, Kyle Grace's Facebook a few months ago when it was done, when it was finished, and then it actually was not in this beige, uh, parchment like background, it was in, um, the back. This, this, this was like the, um, the back of the cards, and in a way, I actually liked that better because it really stood out then, right? Just imagine that this, this, this circle with the wolf in it is in in here so to speak it really jumped out at you i actually like that better so i don't know why they changed that but okay it's a wonderful deck it's a glorious deck um you may want to think about you know but just be aware that the coating is in itself to look at pretty pictures etc then it's great because it's matte but it might not shuffle like really great maybe it's not going to be too bad once Oh, actually, it's not too bad, I don't think. Maybe when you go through it a couple of times, they're not clumping together so much anymore. I don't know. I'm just trying now, see what happens. And I do think I'm still going to use the, oops, the fanning powder. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this. And um, I'm going to leave you with these two pretty cards. Because I just really love that. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the review and uh, I will hope to do, I am hoping to do a reading with it a bit later on in the day. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye bye.